Hey, Duke Guy Grinder here. Uh, this is another of the pole arm series of uh, videos, uh, tutorials, and I want to show on this one long or extended range cutting with the pole arm. Dana X would be the same thing. The uh, nature of this that I've showed just a little bit in some previous videos takes some specific uh, additional practice to really get and understand and it's really really important for complete dynamic use of the pole arm. So when I'm out at the on the field of the list and I'm fighting somebody there are times when I'm going to want to be attacking close as we've described but then I'm going to back up and hit them while I'm very far away from them, or the opposite, where I'm far away, and I want to attack and then step in and go to close range. So the next kata uh, video will actually show some of that uh, interactive techniques and methods. This one I want to show just how that long extended range attack occurs and how the hands have to move on the haft of the pole arm to uh, get that extra range. So I'm going to start hand pretty much down at the bottom of the haft and much lower than the center balance position as we've talked about. I'm starting about here, about two feet, give or take, in between my hands. And so if I'm, if I'm taking that guard and I don't move my hands and I swing. See how I miss? Sure, I could be a little closer and hit, and that would work fine if that's what you were trying to do for that kind of range. But if I want to be at extended range, as I swing, this hand, this top hand, starts to slide down. That bottom hand is also important, right? On that pivot and that body turn, like we've talked about. And then through that extension, that slide of that top hand, now all of a sudden I'm able to hit that target. Remember, if I don't do that, I miss. But as I slide, that shows it. See how that range now is more related to my bottom hand and how that bottom hand extends towards the target with the top hand just being a guide and a manipulator. See that? Okay, so remember, bottom hand. Right. Here, same thing, right? Change, like we've talked about. That hand slides, and now I can hit, right? Here, change, slide, change, slide. See that? Slide, okay? Change, under the shoulder, right? Change, under the shoulder. Okay. How far away I am. I am literally my center, my chest, to my pel's opponent's chest, six feet, and hitting with a six foot pole arm. Right? Not like that. Like that. Okay? Show it from the front real quick. See if there's a different angle that'll help. So, no matter. It's not here, though it could be. It's. Slide, slide that top hand. You really got to practice that because that top hand is pushing. See how my hand is open, and I'm using the crook of my hand and my, between my thumb and my forefinger, my fingers, as a place of pivot. The bottom hand doing the power and the motion while the hand slides to that range. And that hand slide can be just a little bit to extend the range a little bit, a little bit more, maybe even more. You generally, you don't want to get your hands any closer together on that, although you can get them all the way. You generally want to have enough strength uh, in your at the finish of your strike to be able to still, in some ways, manipulate that pole arm a little bit to get it back to where you want it to be versus... If you come all the way down to, to that bottom hand 
you know, unless you're a super strong guy, and some of you guys are out there, you know, it's really hard for me to manipulate that weight of that palm with my hands together. So in that case, if I was to do that, see how when it hits, it's gonna fall, is where here I can still manipulate it, all right? Or I want to, okay? So extended range attacks, sliding hand.